The battery in a Tesla is the most important part of the entire car. Now it's also the most expensive part of the car to repair if you don't treat it properly. Now what most people don't realize is that there are actually certain rules that you're supposed to follow in order to treat the battery of the Tesla properly. Now when it comes to driving a Tesla compared to a ordinary internal combustion engine car, there is a fundamental mindset shift that needs to happen. Now when you drive an ordinary gas car, you're worried about the engine. You try to keep the engine healthy by taking it in for oil changes and everything like that. When it comes to a Tesla, you start to worry about the battery and not the engine or a motor. You worry about the battery and keeping that healthy. In this video, I'll explain the 10 ways to keep your Tesla battery healthy and make it last longer. These 10 tips are easy to follow and they don't require a lot of effort. It's just knowing what they are that is the big part. Now lastly before we get started it's important to note that by owning a Tesla and disregarding these 10 rules and just charging it however you like whenever you want that will cause your Tesla's battery to decrease range rapidly every year. So to put that into a real life example if you bought your Tesla with 300 miles range then within a few years if you don't treat that battery right you may only have 200 miles range and the only way to fix this and increase that range again is to replace the battery entirely. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started. So the first rule is simple it's don't charge your battery all the way the best way that you can take care of your tesla battery is to keep the charge within 20 percent and 80 percent as often as possible anything below 20 percent or anything over 80 percent for extended periods of time are going to hurt the battery number two this is avoid draining your tesla battery all the way down to zero especially for long periods of time the three things that will happen when you drain your car all the way down to zero percent especially if you keep it for a long period of time there is it's going to make your battery degrade faster so you're going to lose maximum capacity on your battery. It's going to kill your 12 volt battery within a few hours. The 12 volt battery runs the small electronics on the car and that is actually trickle charged off of the main battery pack. So once the main battery pack dies, that 12 volt battery will die very soon after. Then you won't even be able to get into the car and you'll have to replace that battery. And then lastly, if you leave your Tesla at 0% charge for a long period of time, it can cause irreversible harm to all different components of the car. A lot of things on these cars run off of the main battery pack and once that's dead for a long period of time, things can permanently break on the car. Now a quick note here is there's two places you should really be cautious about draining your battery to 0% and having it sit there for a long period of time. Number one is a third party repair shop. If you're not taking it to a Tesla service center, you're taking it to someone else, make sure that they have told you when you drop your car off that they will keep your car plugged in to make sure that it maintains charge. Secondly is used car dealerships that are not Tesla. Some of these used car dealerships, they don't know how to handle Teslas quite yet, so they get a new Tesla in, it sits on their lot outside, and they don't even know that it's at 0% charge until someone comes to look at that car, and who knows how long that car has been sitting at 0%. Moving on to number three, this is to avoid Tesla superchargers for the most part. Tesla superchargers charge your battery extremely fast. This causes the battery to get hot, and it's not exactly super healthy for the car long term. So ideally, if you can keep your trips to the supercharger down to four or five times per month, that is optimal for the Tesla battery. Which brings us right into number four, which is optimizing your charging speed. Charging your Tesla battery too slow or charging it too fast are both not going to be optimal for the battery. Charging it too slowly is going to put strain on the car by keeping it processing things for a really long period of time whereas charging it too fast is going to hurt the battery by making it too hot and keeping that battery not in an ideal state. The best way that you can charge your Tesla is with a 220 volt wall outlet or similar to a destination charger. This is somewhere right in the middle at about 32 amps and this is a perfect charging state for your car. So if you have the option to install a 220 volt outlet in your house and you can charge your car in the garage every night with that plug, that is the best charging condition that'll keep your battery the healthiest long into the future. Number five, set a charging schedule if you know that you're going to have to charge your Tesla to 100%. So in some cases, when you are taking a road trip, you need that full 100% charge so you have the most range when you leave your house. Now the reason that you wanna set a schedule is so that the car reaches 100% state of charge just when you're about to leave the house. This way the car's battery is not holding full capacity 100% for a long duration of time, which is unhealthy for the battery. Number six, turn off sentry mode and cabin overheat protection. Now, if you're parking your Tesla for a long period of time, turn off sentry mode and cabin overheat protection to conserve your battery power. Both of those features use a lot of power in the background, so by turning both of those features off, you will know that your battery keeps a lot more of that charge for a longer period of time when parked. Moving on to number seven, this is to avoid extreme temperatures. This goes for very cold temperatures and very hot temperatures. The battery in a Tesla does excellently at about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. 
anything super hot or super cold is not ideal for the battery. Now, luckily, the Tesla has automated systems that regulate the temperature of the battery. So if it's getting too hot, it'll start to cool off the battery and vice versa. So although those automated features help to keep the battery healthy when it's super hot or super cold, they're also using up power to do so. So if you have to park outside and it's super hot outside, try parking in the shade. And if it's super cold outside or snowing, try to park under cover or in a garage. Number eight, use the aero wheel covers to increase the range of your battery. Now, depending on what kind of wheels you got on your Tesla, they may have come with aero wheel covers. Now, what these are are basically a hubcap that increase the aerodynamics on the wheels. Now, what most people don't know is that these are fully removable. So if you put them on, they will increase your range by up to 10%. So if you're making a long commute and you need those extra miles, try just snapping on those aero wheel covers and you'll increase your range instantly. Number nine, speaking of long commutes, drive slower on the highway. Now, a lot of people who are new to Tesla don't know that the range on your Tesla is not at all speeds. The faster you go, the less efficient the Tesla is, therefore the less range you have overall. So if you're driving on the highway, if you're driving at 70 miles an hour, you will get much further range than if you're driving at 90 miles an hour. So just keep that in mind as you're driving long commutes. If you need to stretch out your battery a little bit further to make it to the next charger, drive a little bit slower on the highway. And lastly, number 10, accelerate slower from a standstill. Now I'm all for having a lot of fun in a Tesla. They are extremely fast accelerating cars, especially from zero to 60. So at a red light, when someone pulls up next to you, yes, that is a ton of fun. All I'm saying with this point is, if you can get in the habit of when you're going from a standstill at a red light or a stop sign to picking up to speed, by accelerating a little bit slower, that is a guaranteed way to increase your battery's range. So guys, I've owned a Tesla for over three years now, and that is all 10 ways that have really helped to improve my battery's health and range over the course of these years. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, feel free to like this video. Really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.